Okay, so this here is the back side of my recliner chair, and you can see there, I'm missing the screw. There is a screw there, and there's a screw in there, and it's missing a screw there, but uh, all of the springs have popped. And I think they used to go on that rail there. Um, but I think if I undo these here two screws that are left here, that the whole, the whole seat will come off. And if that does happen, I can fix this. Um, so anyway, yeah, this is the, uh, this is the theater chair we got for $500 from Costco. They have told me I can return it. And that was like three years ago, but maybe five. Um, the problem is, is that, uh, you can't buy another one like it. So I will show it to you again later, but right now we are going to try to take it off. Check out the length of that screw. I was one. I was wondering where these screws came from. I can't believe they go through there. Anyway, how one of them actually worked its way all the way out, I have no idea. Okay. So the next thing I got to do is there's screws underneath this. You can see. I'm gonna pull them off. And then yeah, those four screws held that whole. Uh, Held the whole seat in so I'll take the Phillips off that are holding that and then I'll be able to work on this separately and this is going to be fantastic because uh, I really like the chairs you know like they got these here opening things and there's stuff in holes in there and they got this big deep one here it's down here by the way ah my chicklets I like the chicklets get them out of here So, yeah, so we're going to fix the chair. That's fantastic. What a great idea. And the back goes on this here. And what happens with the back is these things here get bent out of shape and they become loose. But not too bad. They're not too loose anymore. I got that fixed before. When I get the Phillips, I'll tighten that back down. And uh, yeah. Okay, so I have uh, I've removed all the crap, all of this stuff. Okay, it was just all the loose stuff that was around. I'm going to put two of these mats in here like so. So I'll need a knife to cut them by the look of it. Um, a lumpkin from the other house would be fantastic. With that nice sharp blade we put on it. And uh, so then I'm going to use some of this steel strapping here. Okay, and we're going to pull these down, and I'm going to refasten them right there. So when I'm ready to do that, I'll start again. So I've got these fairly big screws, okay, and this is hardwood, so it'll crack. So I've got this drill bit, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to lay down each one of these here to where it should go, and I'm going to uh, drill a hole here to prep it for the... Wonderful wife is back with my knife, so we'll do it all at the same time. So I have trimmed the mat. This is just one of those there half inch uh, puzzle mats you get. I trimmed the mat and stuck it there. I think I'm putting two in here because I would like extra support because I'm a fatty. I have no real way to uh, hold the camera here today. So I've drilled that little hole right there. Connie's pulling down on the things. And she's going to swear at me in a minute, so I'm going to have to put that screw in first, and then I'll show you. Okay, so I now have my uh, one screw in, and what we'll do is we'll have Connie now can hold the, uh, hold the uh, telephone. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first thing we're doing here is I'm lining up the hole of my strapping. Drilling the pilot hole. Get my screw on my drill. Very good. You gotta be careful because if one of these rips out of your hand, it's gonna hurt you. You can see the, the sharp corner that's going right next to my wrist there. Be conscious of what can kill you. You may say, oh, that's an overreaction, but no, that's not an overreaction. That could have cut my 
my wrist badly. Okay. So and there's the second one in, see? Now these ones here all have their, their things still on, so they're pretty straightforward. I will drill two holes this time so that I don't have to take the time out. Uh, So excited about fixing this chair. Like I've been suffering on this thing for a year or better. Two at least. Yeah, there's my hole. I thought it was gonna be really complicated. <laughs> but uh, this is pretty straightforward stuff, this. And in my opinion, it's gonna be better than it was before. Because I increased the uh, padding. The, the padding underneath. So this is going to be beautiful. The thing we like the most about these chairs, we use them for computer chairs. And then we use the, the big screen as the, as the monitor. Mint, mint, I tell you. Take them all down a little more. These ones here can get two screws. I think I'll even do that. But you gotta make sure you uh, pilot drill this stuff because that hardwood will will very easily break. screws they use because I don't think we ever did find the screws. <laughs> we found the big bolt, but that's it. Okay. Okay, I'm very happy with that. Um I would like I wouldn't mind some duct tape or something. Uh I don't know if these are gonna be mm -hmm. um sharp or not. But uh at any rate so now we're going to reassemble it. Okay, so I've run into a dilemma here. You see these screws here are the screws I need to put that TV up on the rack. Uh, funny, eh? Anyway, there's all these extra holes here. So I'm going to use these here wood screws. And I'm going to steal the screws from this chair so that I can fix my, hang my TV. So I put uh, three screws in instead of the two that it had. And... Uh, I gotta try to get that cross-threaded bugger out. It's not cross-threaded, but it's on some kind of angle. Okay, so the hardest part of that was getting that there stripped screw out. Okay, so now we're just gonna fold this in and we got two bolts to put down on the... Uh... So those are the screws that have come out and they go right there. So they're gonna go right in here like this and pull it back. Oh, way too far, okay. Uh, try again, a little wee bit, but there we go. Stop right there. And I'm going to put a screw right there. Okay, so what you have uh, basically seen me do is repair this chair. So the pieces have been put on. That's all back together. I got some extra support for my, my fat ass. And uh, we finally figured out where those four screws that fell out were. They've been, they've been out for years, like... I'm willing to bet you the screws started falling out of this thing probably six, seven months into owning it. And then uh, I had to straighten the back once already and squish that into place. 
Uh, and that's when I realized that the springs were broken. And then I threw that big friggin' uh, brown thing on the ground on the bottom and sat on it for a long time. And uh, yeah, so now we just got around fixing it. Okay, so we have repaired this chair. The uh, screws are back in. Oh, nice and firm now, which is fantastic. All the mechanisms are working and the back is a little straighter.